Let's Cover That podcast is brought to you by CMNF Group, professional liability services for over 200 healthcare professions. Visit our website at cmfgroup.com slash podcast for more info. Hey, everyone. Will Sullivan here with another episode of Let's Cover That with my co-host. Antonina Agruza. And today we have with us Raquel Akavan, a physician assistant and founder of PA Moms. Raquel, thank you so much for joining us on the podcast today. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. I'm really excited after seeing all the amazing people that you guys have hosted on here. Um, honestly, an honor and really excited to tell you about my background and PA Moms. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. So Raquel, let's jump right into it. Tell us a little bit about your background and what led you to form PA Moms. So I'm originally from New York, um, grew up on Long Island, like we were talking about earlier. Um, And I went to PA school um, in Manhattan at Pace University. And um, after PA school, started my career um, first in plastics. And then um, after plastic surgery, I went on to do a neurosurgery at Jacoby Medical Center in the Bronx. And I stayed there for a really long time. Um, but um, so what really led me to create PA Moms was obviously neurosurgery is a very demanding field. And after becoming a mom, they actually um, they actually promoted me to the lead PA. And I was finding it super difficult um, to manage my job as the lead PA and then also being a new mom. And I was really looking for a place um, for support. And I didn't have a lot of friends that were um, that were moms yet, especially PAs. And so I had no one to really turn to. So I was looking for um, a group. There wasn't any. Um, and me and a couple of other people ended up creating the group on Facebook. And we basically grew from just three people um, to over almost 16,000 today. Um, so it's really amazing. And so basically out of my own need, I created this group and um, now it's become something way bigger than a support group. So really excited. So Raquel, tell us, tell us about PA Moms in more of a deep dive, you know, it started in 2016 and now it's a special interest group. So kind of what, how is that going and, and kind of what, what do you see it progressing towards? I might, I know that's kind of a, a broad question, but. I think everybody's really interested based on the growth that you've seen with the support into an interest group and every all the great work you're doing. So in um so basically in 2016 um we we started as just a Facebook group and um uh, at that point we were we were just a close knit community giving each other support. Um but in 2020 during the pandemic we decided to do something more with the group um because we were seeing that people needed a lot of support. And um, burnout, obviously, was getting way worse during the pandemic. And um, so we wanted to become a special interest group affiliated with AAPA. So we did that and we started uh, giving continuing medical education and other benefits. Um, At this point, um, since since 2020, um, we've grown considerably. I think we were probably around 5,000 members at the time. And now we have 16,000 members. so some of the benefits that we give our um, give our members are um, continuing medical education um, and those are free and we can get those directly on the Facebook group and um, just by reading the, the posts, which is really cool. Raquel, it seems like you guys are doing a lot of really great work. I also noticed on your website that you host an annual summit and also provide scholarships. So can you tell us what those events are like and where do you see those going? You know, how have they evolved over the years? Um, actually, so the Women's Medical Summit is our inaugural summit next year. So it's our first one ever. Um, and we've been doing scholarships since I believe 2021. So this year is our third annual annual year. Um, the other years we were able to award $1,000 to one student. And this year we're able to give two students $1,000. So we're really excited to be able to, um, over, over the years, expand on the benefits that we're able to give. So the other great thing is we um, partnered with the University of Lynchburg DMSE program, and we are able to give our members members a pay discount for the tuition for to get their doctorate degree. Wow. So so when you're getting into the inaugural uh, summit, you know what, 
what does that look like the the experience i mean kind of to to push out some more engagement in support of it what how's that going to operate who's going to be there things like that so the really nice thing about our group is that we're super close knit our members like have created lifelong friendships from our group even though it's so large um, but a lot of people have never met in person. So the point of the summit is to let everyone meet in person, um, have a professional development and continuing education where we can all come together, um, teach each other, get CME and um, improve obviously burnout and work like work related stressors as well. And during our summit, we plan on um, highlighting highlighting our members, it's actually happening during um, Black History Month in February. So we're having a panel of African-American uh, PA moms um, do a panel um, on uh, underrepresented minorities in the PA profession. So that's gonna be a really awesome thing. We're having a panel on uh, career trans transitions as well. Um, so that's going to be a really cool um, opportunity for people and it will help with professional development overall. So we're hoping um, this is our first time doing it and it's going to be on the smaller scale, probably around 150 to 200 people. But we're hoping over the years to expand this summit and make it really large. So um, moving around the country every year and um, and growing, growing this really exciting. Yeah, that's great. And you, you've been using our favorite buzzword, burnout. Um, you know, we, you, there's so much talk about burnout, violence in the workplace, mass exodus of healthcare workers. How, aside from, you know, the CME and the support group, you know, how else is PA moms, you know, supporting PAs through those and many other hurdles kind of happening in the workforce today? You know, especially knowing that most of the people in your group have children at home. You know, what is the message that you guys are sharing on your platform? Um, so the, the biggest thing, the message that we're sharing on our platform is number one, inclusivity, um, supporting one another and being kind to one another. So um, the support group is a huge part of our organization. Um, we create relationships and mentorship that um, really decreases burnout. Um, even I have created relationships for myself through the group that has helped me with burnout. Um, you know, our members are really knowledgeable. We have experts, experts there too on burnout and people really do help each other. So, yeah. So, so when you're dealing with the burnout, there's the workplace violence, but I mean, specifically as a, as a mother, you have children at home. I mean, the, the question of burnout is like it, your stressors are so different in the workplace, especially healthcare, because you know, you, you could be dealing with assault, you know, the violence in, in the office, and then you're coming home to a family. It's just the the burnout, the stressors are just so, you know, intense. So, you know, how, how's that play out with a lot of the PA moms and how they're feeling and, and how you're supporting that? Yeah, we have real life stories about this um, in our group. I mean, I can't disclose like details, but there's Every day there's a story about somebody being um, assaulted at work. There really are like real stories and we give each other real support. Um, we also do a lot of fundraising in our group. So if somebody has lost a loved one um, or if they're sick with cancer, we fund, we do GoFundMes and fundraise for, um, for each person as well. So that does help like so financial support but pl and plus, you know, just supporting each other. Um, people send cards to kids with cancer. Um, they'll have their kids like color cards and then send them over. We get their addresses. Um, so stuff like that is really important in the sense of community is really important. Just creating, just creating the community and having a place to belong as a mom in medicine is really important. Um, when I started the when I started the community, I did not have that. And I really felt lonely. Like, you know, I went back to work, I was trying to breastfeed and I had no time. I had no one to talk to about it. And I thought that that was normal and it's not. And now we have a place to talk about it with each other. And we know that that is not right, you know? Um, so there's a lot of ways to, you know, support each other just by talking it out and being 
and giving each other the confidence to fight back on these issues. So, so in, in a way we are doing advocacy, even though we're not going to like Capitol Hill, we're advocating for each other by giving, giving each other the support and confidence. Do you have any specific advice for women studying to become PAs? Yeah. Um, so if, if you're, you know, a mom or trying to become a mom, you can definitely do it. I think that having PA moms will make you be able to do it, honestly. Like having each, ha us having each other and having the support group, a place to just talk it out. Um, if you're a student, it's gonna be challenging for sure um, with kids. I, I know a really amazing student. She has three kids. She's actually one of our student fellows and she's doing it. She's in her didactic year and she, you know, you just have to balance your time well. And our group is really a great place to be able to, um, you know, get that support. So yeah, I think it's, it's amazing because one of the illusions in, in life is always that you're alone, you're on an island, but there's just so much more common ground to people and what they're experiencing and living than you think. And what you're doing with your organization is with PA moms is just really a testament to that. And it, it's really cool to see the PA profession continue to move forward and kind of push back against the hurdles of burnout, the workplace violence, and this type of community is one of those items. I, so is there anything else you want to kind of wrap up the show with? Yeah, another nice thing about our group is it gives a place for, you know, it's a large community. So we kind of get the pulse of the, um, PA community as a whole, especially me and my leadership team, we um, are approving 200 posts a day. So you really do get the sense of how people are feeling in, in the workplace. I mean, if somebody wanted to like come in and do like a research study, they'd probably get some really good data um, on our group. But, um, you know, I really do have a good sense and a pulse of, of the actual PA community being, um, being a leader in PA moms. And, um, you know, while it is a problem, burnout is a huge problem. I think having support, having mentors is part of the solution. So um, while our support group is not a formal mentorship program, it's, um, it's another way to be able to help burnout. And obviously during our summit, we're gonna be addressing burnout and, you know, doing professional development, surrounding burnout. So, um, you know, we're really looking forward to expanding our benefits. That's amazing. And we look forward to hearing more about what your organization does and how the PA Summit goes. And we just want to say thank you for joining us today on another episode of Let's Cover That. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great.